Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I did not want to create a full face one brand review video. No, today I wanted to create a beautiful, refreshing, glowy, radiant spring look for y'all. Of course, I'm only going to be using clean products in this video. And of course, they're going to be 100% cruelty free as well. So if you're interested in seeing more of the brands that I'm using today, I'm pretty sure I have full face reviews on my channel. So please do and go check that out. And if you have not subscribed yet, please, I would love to have you here. So just feel free to hit the subscribe button. You could also ring the bell to stay notified about my upcoming videos. And if you enjoy this spring look at any point, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That would be really appreciated. So you guys, I don't want to hold you up with a massive intro today. All I want to say though is that I did go out of my comfort zone a little bit with applying all this pink to my face but I also felt like spring is just calling for that so yeah you guys without no further ado let's just go bare face and let's get this video rolling. So you guys I am bare faced right now and ready to create a beautiful refreshing spring look but I just wanted to mention one product before we get started. I really wanted to mention the Fit Glow C Toning Mist. You guys, if you want a full spring experience, this is such a good toning mist. I use this every time before I do my makeup. It's literally just a really refreshing mist. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because it just reminds me so much of spring. This has such a beautiful rose scent to it. So in the beginning, I wasn't the biggest fan of this product just because, you know, when I bought this, I mean, it's called Sea Toning Mist. I assumed it would kind of smell like the ocean, you know, that really refreshing ocean scent. But you guys, this smells like roses and it took me a while to get used to it, but now I honestly can't live without it. I mean, this is an empty bottle. There's literally nothing left. I'm already on my second bottle. I would always repurchase this. It is really hydrating. It does contain organic aloe. It does contain sea extracts and botanical hyaluronic acid. But the scent of this, it really grew on me and it just really reminds me of spring. So that's why I wanted to have mentioned this product. So talking of skin prep, this is another product that I really wanted to show you guys today. This is the Lip Whip by Cary Gran. This is the Cinnamon Naked one. You guys, this is so dang good. Honestly, I've been using this every day since I've got this. Um, this is literally a lip balm and it's just very, very hydrating. I use this um, as an overnight treatment as well. And my lips have never been better than since I started using this. It is honestly so good. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this lip balm to my lips just to, you know, moisturize my lips because we're gonna go in with a lipstick that can be quite drying. So I'm just gonna put that on. So I also just wanna mention that this product is not vegan. This does contain organic beeswax. They also have tinted versions of this lip whip. Um, again, I have the cinnamon naked one. This one does not contain any peppermint. I know that all these other lip whips, they do contain peppermint. So if you're not a fan of peppermint, I would definitely recommend this cinnamon naked one. It is so good. So I'm just gonna put my hair back and then we'll start with the primer. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite primers today. This is the Honest Beauty Everything Primer. This is their matte version. It's so good. I seriously love this primer and it works so well with the foundation that I wanna put on today. So I'm just gonna dot this onto my face and then spread it out. I think this mattifying primer works super well with the foundation that I'm about to use because this foundation does contain some oils so automatically it will sort of give me like a more dewy satin finish and this really does something to make the coverage smoother, to make the finish smoother. I don't know, I just really really love this primer. So the primer has sunken in so Let's continue with the foundation. So today I want to use the Lawless Woke Up Like This foundation. You guys, I love this foundation so, so much. It's one of my all-time favorite foundations just because it gives you such a great coverage. And the finish of this, it's like, 
I would say it's the most dewiest foundation that I like. It is like satin slash dewy. I'm obviously gonna powder it down and I could never wear the foundation on its own just like that. Um, but yeah, so I want to really achieve a little bit more of a fresh look today and I do need some coverage and I think this foundation can give me everything that I want for my spring look. So I do have this in two shades. I have this in the shade Sunrise, um, which is a little bit of a darker shade. And then I have this in the shade Oasis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix both of these shades together because this foundation unfortunately oxidizes. So... That shade Sunrise in the beginning looks like a perfect shade match, but over time it's really gonna darken on my skin. So I always have to put a drop of this Oasis shade in it and then it works perfectly. Um, it is really a stunning foundation. This is a very runny and liquidy foundation, so you should really shake this up well before applying this. This foundation has a lot of oils in it too, and if this foundation is a little bit too oily for you, I would definitely recommend to use something like this Honest Beauty Mattifying Primer beforehand, because it will definitely just absorb a little bit of the oil and not look like crazy oily. I mean, it doesn't look oily. I think this finish is stunning on my skin. I always use this makeup palette and I take a couple of drops of the shade Sunrise. And then I'm gonna shake up the shade Oasis and I'm just gonna take one drop of that just to brighten the shade up a little bit. So my favorite way of applying this foundation is definitely a dampened sponge. It works so well with a sponge. I would not use this on a brush. And so let's go ahead and apply it. You guys can you see how crazy this coverage is just with one layer i mean i look like a different person and my skin looks so healthy so glowy with this i honestly i just really 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 love this foundation so much <laughs> I mean, and you guys, you could definitely build the coverage up. I mean, it is so full coverage on the first layer already. But if you do need that extra, extra coverage, you can definitely build this up. You just have to let it dry down first and then take another layer and it works perfectly. I purposely avoided my eye area a little bit because we are going to move on with the concealer. I'm just going to let this foundation dry down a little bit more. So the foundation has almost dried down completely. It looks so smooth, so pretty. I seriously love this foundation. So let's move on with one of my all-time favorite concealers. Today I want to use the Kosas Revealer Concealer. Um, honestly, you guys, this has been one of my favorite concealers ever. Reason being is because I can apply quite a generous amount of this and it won't crease. It looks so pretty on the skin. It does have somewhat a luminous finish. Um, so I'm gonna apply this uh, mainly around my eyes today and maybe just a little bit on my nose. Let's see, also maybe a little bit on my chin. So yeah, let's go. By the way, you guys, I'm gonna apply this in the shade 01. So I'm gonna let that sit for a good minute and then buff it out with a sponge. You guys, I don't have to spot conceal or anything because I feel like this foundation gave me so much coverage. I just wanna put the concealer on spots where I do wanna draw the light to a little bit.
I just really love this concealer for around my eyes. I feel like it is so stunning, so pretty. I really love it. I mean, it does just get rid of every sort of discoloration that you're having. If you look a little bit tired, this is gonna save the day. Seriously, I just love this formulation. It's so, so nice. It won't crease, you know, it won't get cakey, nothing. It is so stunning. I feel like my skin looks super healthy right now. So what I want to do next is I want to set my face with some powder. I'm not going to use a mattifying powder because I do feel like we want to keep a little bit of this refreshing luminosity for the spring look. But yeah, so I am going to use two different powders. I am going to use um, a different powder for my under eye. I have really, really loved this Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder by Ilya. It is so great for my under eye area, so I'm going to powder that down first. It is super blurring. It is just absolutely amazing. I love this. So yeah, let's apply it. <laughs> Okay, and then to set my face today, I don't want to use an overpowering mattifying uh, powder. I want to use the Elate Cosmetics Glowing Powder just to give my face a little bit of glow and to set it. So this is such a beautiful powder case. I just got one problem with it and it's because it doesn't have a locking sift and it's just really hard to open. And I'm so scared that this powder is going to fly around everywhere now. Oh man. Ugh. Oh my God. Now you can tell this is a little bit of a problem. Got everywhere. This powder, it's just the packaging on this. It's stunning, but it's very impractical. It's a little bit of a pigmented powder as well. I completely forgot that. I'm just gonna apply this very lightly onto my foundation. I'm not sure why it is called glowing powder. To me, it's just a normal setting powder. I mean, if you look at the powder up close, it looks a little bit glowy, but it doesn't really come up on the skin. So, you know, I don't mind it. But this packaging is just very inconvenient. I don't know who came up with this idea. Oh my God. Ugh. Anyway, so my face is set. Let's move on to the fun part. Let's move on to bronzing and highlighting. So for bronzer today, I want to use the new Kosas bronzer, the Sun Show bronzer. I have this in the shade light. I seriously really, really enjoy this bronzer so, so much. It's so good. I think it's perfect for my skin tone. I know a lot of people think this is very orange toned. I mean, it doesn't look very orange on my skin tone. It does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. I don't think the shimmer comes up like on my skin that much. I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, it looks glowing, but it doesn't look like super super shimmery or anything and let's bronze up this face It looks so stunning. I seriously love this bronzer. I think it is so perfect. Like, I just love the fact that you can build this up and, you know, it's not overly pigmented and it doesn't really look that shiny, does it? I mean, on my skin, it gives me a little bit of like, a little bit of a glow, but at the end of the day, I do think it comes up a little bit more matte on my skin. Um, I don't think it's that shimmery or like, not at all, honestly. I think it just looks so stunning. So what else do I want to bronze up? I think that's pretty much everything I want to do today. I don't want to go in too heavy with the bronzing part. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next product. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm going to use something I never use just because it's spring. And just because I have this and I need to make some use out of it. So I'm going to use a blush today. And uh, this is the Honest Beauty 
blush, their cream cheek blush, and this is the shade Rose Pink. Um, it's a really pretty shade. It's honestly like one of the only blushes I own, and it's actually a really nice blush. Um, if you know me, you know I rarely use any blush. And I'm scared of blushes, to be honest, because I always try to cancel out the pinkness or any sort of redness or anything that looks like blush. Um, but this one is actually super, super nice. And I feel like because it's spring, we do need a blush. So I'm going to just uh, apply this a little bit on my cheeks and I'm going to take this on this brush and just, you know, just go in a little bit around here. This formulation is amazing. So if you want a good cream blush, I could only recommend this. The thing is, it is very blendable and you know, it's not heavily pigmented. So it just looks like skin. It looks super, super pretty. I really love it. Okay, so for highlighter, let's move on to the highlighter. I wanna use um, the Airy Paris Vanilla highlighter today. You guys, this is such a beautiful highlighter. I really, really honestly love this highlighter. Um, this is also a cream product, but it kind of comes up on the skin as if it was a powder. It's so good. I'm gonna take this onto a brush. It's very stiff, like you really have to dip in your brush. And this really gives you this wet, glowing, beautiful look. This is a pretty amazing formulation. I do have troubles with cream highlighters, but this one it is so stunning. I apply it first with a brush and then I tap it in a little bit with my fingers or with a sponge, whatever works best for you. They actually advise you to use a brush. I think it's nice to apply, but then you kind of just want to dab it in a little bit more. So yeah. This is so nice. I mean, I honestly really, really love this highlighter so much. This makes the skin look so refreshed. It's just this beautiful, soft glow. And the formulation of this is pretty, pretty amazing. So the only place where I don't like this highlighter is on my nose and on my forehead. Basically, I would like to use something else today because I don't know why, but any sort of cream formulation on my nose doesn't seem to work. My nose gets super oily. So what I wanna use on my nose today is the Lily Lolo Mineral Shimmer in the shade Stardust. I really enjoy this product so, so much. So yeah. My complexion is done, you guys. I feel like I'm looking very refreshed, very um, put together. And yeah, so let's move on to the eyes. So I wanna fill in my eyebrows with the green tea fiber brow builder by 100% Pure. I've honestly been really enjoying this product. The first time around when I tried this product, I put way too much product on. So the real trick is to just, you know, get a little bit of the product off on here, just scratch it off a little bit. Um, this is very tinted. My only issue with it is that it gets clumpy sometimes a little bit. So I really have to come through it a little bit more, but it's so stunning. So yeah, let's go. This really does fill in my brows and it gives them such a nice tint. Uh, this is the shade medium brown, so just be aware if you have dark eyebrows that medium brown shade will definitely work. Looks so amazing and I really enjoyed this product so much, more than I thought I would. 
So yeah. So yeah, I am pretty, pretty impressed with this product. I have to say, I really, really love it. I feel like my brows still look super natural. Um, just really stunning. You can still see the hair. So let's move on to the eyeshadows. So today I want to use this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Aether Beauty Rose Quartz palette. This to me just yells spring. Um, these colors, I mean, I love this palette. Aether Beauty makes such beautiful palettes they are zero waste you can literally recycle this entire palette which is so cool this doesn't have a mirror too because mirrors are very hard to recycle but anyway you guys i mean this color story to me it just yells spring so i do want to create a really beautiful look with this today um, I really honestly enjoyed this palette a lot even though it is a little bit more out of my comfort zone because I don't know, I just don't like any pink on my face, you know? So yeah, let's start this look off. I'm just gonna get all my brushes. So the very first shade that I wanna apply is the shade Sandstone, this one here. So I'm gonna put that shade Sandstone in my crease. This shade is such a beautiful transition shade. It's so nice. I mean, I really, really love it. It looks just super pretty, honestly. So yeah, let's move on with the next shade that I want to use. I want to use that shade Scorpio right here. I'm going to put that literally on my outer crease just to intensify it. So I'm gonna move on with the shade Hearthstone, this one, and just, you know, put it a little bit on the lid, but just only on my outer crease as well. Okay, and now I'm gonna move on with one of my favorite shades in the entire palette. This is the shade Crystalline. I love this one so, so much. I'm gonna put this all over my lids. I just remembered too that if you want more color payoff straight away, just go in with your fingers, especially the ones in the middle and you know this one, the shimmery ones, they're gonna work so much better if you use your fingers. I rarely like to use my fingers on my eyes, but you know, sometimes with these shadows, you just kind of want to intensify the glitter, the sparkle, the metallic, the shimmer, whatever it is, it's going to work best with your fingers if you do put a little bit of pressure onto that shadow. So before I move on with the eye look, I do want to put something in my waterline and I'm going to put um, the Pacifica eyeliner. I can't remember the name of this. I think it's called Magic Eyeliner. This is such an amazing eyeliner. I love this so much because it does imitate your skin tone. It is not like white. I mean, they open up your eyes, but they can look super fake. And this one is just perfect. It looks so nice. I've been using this one for years. I love it so, so much. It really just opens up your eyes and it looks so, so stunning. Okay, so back to the eyeshadow palette now. I want to drag down the shade and I'm going to use, um, I'm going to go back into the shade Scorpio and drag that one down my lower lash line.
Okay, and last step, I want to take the shade Stardust, this shade right here, and literally highlight my brow bone with this, and also put it in the inner corners of my eyes. love these colors so much they look really pretty and i think if you feel the same way if you're a little bit scared of purple pink like anything cool toned you would love this though i feel like this is so wearable it looks just amazing so stunning okay you guys so my eye look is done oh yeah and by the way if you want to purchase any of aether beauty's palettes i do have an affiliate code with them it's just code pami and you'll get 15 percent off but okay so let's move on with the mascara so today i want to use the lily lolo big lash mascara i'm just going to quickly uh, curl my lashes and then we'll apply it I really like this mascara, it is so dramatic. Um, the only thing is I'm always very wary not to put too much uh, product on this applicator, it's huge. So let's make these lashes look super dramatic. I would literally just advise you not to use too much product on that huge brush because if you do go in with too much product this can get a little bit clumpy and yeah so just be aware of that uh, just always sort of scrap that product off before you go in and it will just give you this beautiful feathery look okay you guys so my eye look is complete so let's move on with the lips so for the lips today, I want to use the Clove & Halo Lip Velvet in the shade Darling. This is such a beautiful nude pink. Um, these formulations are amazing. They are going to come on creamy, but they're going to dry down to a really matte lipstick. And they're just literally going to stay with you the entire day. They're super long wearing and so, so pretty. I'm honestly in love with this formulation. I really like them. So yeah, let's go. It's really like a dusty nude pink shade and I really honestly love it. I feel like it is super pretty. So this lip velvet is going to dry down completely matte in a second. And I feel like, I mean, I love it. I love this dusty nude shade and the finish of this as well. But I do think for spring we do want to add some shine. So I'm going to go over it with a lip gloss in a second. So I feel like this has dried down completely. And for lip gloss I want to use the Glossy Venom by Madeira. Um, this is such a good lip gloss and the smell of this, it's like literally walking into a candy shop. It is just so good. It looks pink in here, but it's completely translucent actually. It just has some really nice pink reflects. Uh, it gives you some really intense shine and that's what we want for today's look. <laughs> You guys, I have to say, I'm really, really happy with the outcome of this spring look. It looks so stunning. I really, really enjoy it. If you like it too, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That would be super appreciated. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, you guys, I would absolutely love to have you here. You just have to hit the subscribe button. You can also ring the bell to stay notified about my upcoming videos. And yeah, I shall be seeing you in here very, very soon again. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.